Good morning. Today we'll discuss numerical problems on RLC series circuits. In the last video lecture, we have done numerical problems on series RL and RC circuits. In today's class, we will try to determine the response of series RLC circuits when they are excited with single phase AC supply. So, this is a question. If you carefully see, a 230 volt 50 hertz supply is applied to a coil having a resistance of 25 ohms, inductance of 60 milli Henry, which is connected to a 68 microfarad capacitor. Which means that there are three elements in this circuit a resistor and an inductor and a capacitor. Which are excited by a single phase AC supply. The value of a supply is given to you 230 volts, 50 hertz, whereas the resistance is 25 ohms. Inductance it is 60 milli Henry, so which means 0 0.6 hertz, 6 Henry, and this is a capacitor. Sorry, 68 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farads. Now, these three elements are present in the circuits. So, each of these elements that offer different opposition to the flow of current, which we call it as impedance. And the impedance offered by this element is R, whereas for this element, it is given by J omega C, sorry, J omega L, and for this one, it is given by minus j by omega c. So now we will see what is the total opposition which is offered by the circuits and we will also try to calculate the current flowing in the circuits. So first of all let us list down the values which are available for us. We do have a supply, sorry we do have a RLC series circuit. This is the value of resistance, inductance and the capacitance. And next we will note down the supply which is available here. The source voltage is 230 volts and it is RMS and the frequency is 50 hertz. So when we do have the frequency we can calculate the angular speed for the angular frequency. We call it as omega is equal to 2 pi f and it is the formula. Okay. Now let us try to calculate the impedance of the circuits. When we try to calculate the impedance of the circuit, so let me draw the circuit again. The circuit is simple, a resistor, an inductor and a capacitor. And the resistance offers an impedance of, see we will calculate only the impedance R, this is J omega L and this is minus J by omega C, right. So now, if they are asking the impedance, so we know the impedance generalized formula, it is J XL minus X, right, where XL is omega L and X is 1 by omega C. Now, we do have the value of R is 25 ohms, L value we do have, it is 60 milli Henry. And we do have the capacitance as 68 microfarad. An omega value also we do have, it is 314.15, which we have calculated in the previous slide. Now we should substitute, see the inference Z is obtained by substituting all these values. When you substitute all these values, then you will be getting an equivalent value of the impedance. Now, see, this is the equivalent value of the impedance which you will be getting. So, it is somewhere around 25 minus J 27.96 ohms. This is the impedance in rectangular format. If you want to convert it into polar format, then you should 
apply polar of this particular value in your calci. Now, let's look at the current which is flowing in the circuits. Okay, now how to obtain the current? Now I do have V, now I do have Z also. V it is 230 at an angle of 0 and Z I do have it as 25 minus J 27.96. This is my current which is flowing in the circuits. Now this is in polar format, this is in rectangular, so I will convert this one also into polar. So I will get something here. So let's see what we have to see. This is 230 at an angle of 0. This inference is now converted into its polar form. This is a polar form of the impedance. Minus 48.2. So when I do this one, the magnitudes are to be divided. It is 230 by 37 point. And the angles will be subtracted. Okay. So now if you see what you will be getting, this division gives you 6.13. And this is here 48.2. This is here total current which is flowing in the circuits. And if you want to write it in an instantaneous value, then I of T is equal to, so this is RMS only. So I will be, root 2 into 6.13 will give me the maximum value. Sine omega is 314T plus the angle is 48.2. Okay, because the current is IM sine omega T plus 5. This is the instantaneous equation. So I have substituted it here. Omega value is 314, phi value is 48.2 and IM can be obtained in phi r root 2 into irms this is what i have written here okay now the next one is the power factor as already said power factor is the cause of angle between v and i so here voltage has zero angle whereas the current is having 48.2 so this is cause of minus 48.2 so whatever the angle which you will be getting that you will be noting down here but since the current is having a positive angle when compared to the voltage so i will take it as leading if current was lagging behind voltage then i would have considered lagging power factor now the current is leading so i will be taking it as leading power factor so whatever the value comes here that you should write here the next is power consumed. As already said, there are two types of power. One is the active power. One is the active power, which is calculated. VRMS into IRMS, only the magnitudes, into cos power. Similarly, this is VRMS into IRMS into sine power. Okay. Now, see here. This is the active power consumed. See, whatever the power factor, cos of minus 48.2.666. Leading. Now, active power consumed is P is equal to VI cos pi. V, I do have it as 230. Current RMS value only. So, 6.13 into 0 0.66. Now, similarly, the active power consumed. VI sine power. And these equations do hold good only in single phase AC circuits. Okay, so with this, impedance is computed, current is computed, power factor is done, and the power consumed. But they might be asking you to determine the voltages across individual elements. Right, because we do have three elements, right? They might be asking you to determine the voltage across individual elements. You know supply voltage is already there. How much? 230 at an angle of 0. What you are supposed to do? Voltage across resistor, across inductor and capacitor. Now voltage across resistor. How to calculate? It is I into Z, right? What is I? 
uh, it is 6.418 at an angle of 48.2 into what is the impedance of resistor impedance of resistor for resistor it is r for inductor it is j omega l for capacitor it is minus j by omega l okay so for resistor the impedance is r itself so what is the r value 25 but if nothing is there its angle is considered as 0 so you multiply these two and use some of the angles here that let me do it so it is 154.5 at an angle of 48.2 now, if I want voltage across inductor, it is I into impedance. Its impedance is J omega L, right? So, what is the current? It is 6.18 at an angle of 48.2. Omega L, omega L. Omega is 314.1415. I'll do it 314.15 into L is 0 0.06 right so it is 18.849 since J is there J is nothing but at an angle of 90 right so now if I do this one it is 116.48 at an angle angles will be added right so it is 138.2 Similarly, voltage across capacitor. It is I into Z, but in this case it is I into minus J by omega C. So it is 6.18 at an angle of 48.2 into 1 by omega C, right? It is 46.8 at an angle of since it is minus j I will be taking it as minus 90 right so what is its value it is 289.2 at an angle of see this is when I add these angles I will be getting 41.8 minus 41.8 so this is the voltage across capacitor, voltage across inductor and voltage across the resistor. Okay. So this is the way how we calculate the voltages across each element. So I hope that now you are uh, acquainted with how to do these problems. Now I will stop this video lecture and I will record the other one in the next video lecture. Okay.